Hello and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial I wanted to show you a stitch. Many of you are familiar with this stitch. But I think for a thick blanket it's nice to, to do this stitch. Or a hat. But with this uh, stitch I would recommend that you use at least one number or two numbers bigger the crochet hook than the yarn recommends. So this yarn uh, recommends four 0 0.0 millimeter crochet hook and I use 7.0 so three numbers higher but I think this is like double layer it's thick and this is the this is the front and this is the back so if you like to to do this stitch for a thick blanket it's gonna be nice okay we're gonna chain even numbers I chain here even numbers and now I'm going to skip the first chain, this one, and in the second chain from the hook, we're going to go in there and we're going to do a single crochet. So this row is going to be single crochet in each chain until we finish this uh, row. So move to the next chain and do a single crochet. Next chain, single crochet and so on. Single crochet in each chain. Yeah, I did. Uh, I just showed how to not from the beginning on my other channel how to do this uh, this stitch. But I'm sure many of you you're familiar with this. This is not uh, something new. By the way, uh, you know we work with uh, front post, back post, the back of the work after we do the row with the. Um, front post it has like a like a ridge which I don't really care for so now we're gonna chain two turn your work and now we're gonna skip this stitch and in the second stitch yarn over the hook we're gonna do double crochet so this row is gonna be double crochet in each stitch so move to the next stitch double crochet so double crochet in each stitch until we finish this row. This stitch has only two rows repeat. One row with single crochet and one row it's front post double crochet. If I move too fast you can uh, you have an option you can slow down the speed of the video and you can see slower what I'm doing. Yeah, but I think this stitch is it's nice to have a soft yarn and to work with a bigger crochet hook than the yarn recommends. Otherwise the work is going to be rigid and stiff. So the last stitch is here. We're going to go in there and we're going to do a double crochet. Okay, now chain one, turn your work. And in the first stitch here, we're going to do a single crochet just to give us an edge in case you want to do a blanket you're gonna have at least some edge here to attach whatever border you like to to work and put on that blanket so yarn over the hook now we're gonna move to the next double crochet here and we're gonna do a front post double crochet yarn over the hook move to the next double crochet and we're gonna do a front post double crochet move to the next double crochet the post you're gonna do a front post double crochet and in this row it's gonna be like this move to the next and it's a front post double crochet you know, this is a very easy stitch you can uh, watch TV you can have a conversation in case you don't want to do complicated stitches, I think this one is nice. But yeah, it's gonna eat a lot of yarn. So move to the next and do a front post double crochet. Now I'm working with a 7.0 millimeter crochet hook. Just you know for you to see the, the stitches. So the next 
the last double crochet we're gonna do the same I'm gonna do a front post double crochet and in this chain here we're gonna go in there and we're gonna do a single crochet we started with single crochet we're gonna finish with single crochet then chain one turn your work and you can see we did the the row this one with the front post double crochet and it has this ridge here I don't care much for that if you like you can leave it like this so the first stitch in here we're gonna go into that first stitch and we're gonna do a single crochet and we're gonna finish single crochet in the last stitch here so now we have this V's here the one in the bottom and the one on the top so we're gonna put the crochet hook underneath that V and then we're gonna go on top and we're gonna pick up that V too pull up a loop and then do a single crochet so we're gonna move to the next V here the stitch on but on the bottom and then we're gonna pick up that one in the on the top like that and you're gonna do a single crochet move to the next V from the ridge and then the one on the top pull up a loop do a single crochet they should they should be the the ones on the bottom and the ones on the top they should be kind of parallel so it's going to be easy to pick them up yeah. and you go to the next one and the top one and you close and this will give you the double layer the thickness so you move to the next one pick up the two V's there well, the V and the next one and the next one so now we have the last one here make sure that you have two on and then the one on top there pick up a loop and do a single crochet and we have one stitch left here so we're gonna do a single crochet chain one turn your work and now in the first stitch here we're gonna do a single crochet so now we're gonna do yarn over the hook we're gonna do the front post double crochet from the row below this row here so you're gonna place your crochet hook behind that and then pull up a loop and do a double crochet move to the next front post place your crochet hook there behind that pull up a loop and then do a double crochet and this row is gonna be like this in each front post from the previous row you wanna do a front post double crochet yeah, it's a very easy stitch but like I said it's gonna eat a lot of yarn to the next yeah but with this stitch you have to work with a bigger crochet hook in general the unless you work with the same crochet hook that the yarn recommends but when you do this front post make sure that you leave this loop high enough otherwise it's gonna be like this everything the work anyway so the last stitch it's here if I put my work like this the last stitch is here so we're gonna go in there and we're gonna do a single crochet chain one and now we have to it's like a pocket this thing here so we're gonna put it like this and then we're gonna close this so the first stitch is here we're gonna do a single crochet so now that the the V on the bottom it's this one and we're gonna pick this one and this one here so you pick up that one and then go on top and then pull up a loop and do a single crochet next and this is going to give you that thickness it's really easy this one so for a scarf well scarf it's not reversible the stitch but if you don't mind you know that the, the front and back do doesn't look the same but if you like a thick scarf or a neck warmer 
you can do so many things with this uh, this stitch it's really nice so the last V is here so we're gonna pick up this one here and the one on top go in there do a single crochet and the last stitch is here single crochet so you're gonna chain one turn your work and now you're gonna repeat the, the row with the front post yeah so but in the first stitch here we're gonna go and do a single crochet if you want you can do a slip stitch if you think it's too high because at some point these corners where we have the single crochets here it's gonna go a little bit up so you can do a slip stitch if you like slip stitch in the first slip stitch in the last yeah so yarn over the hook and we're gonna go to the front post from the previous row go in there pick up a loop and then do a double crochet move to the next pick up a loop and so on you're gonna do like this in each front post from the previous row yeah the higher you make this one you pull this loop higher it's gonna look nicer and it's not gonna be so well let's say rigid or stiff the the work so you could do this it's very easy okay so the last stitch is here so like, like I said if you think these corners were gonna go too much uh, pointing up then you can do in the last stitch here you can do a slip stitch slip stitch or you can do a single crochet which one which way you prefer yeah because it it has a tendency that the corners here to uh, one second to show you to go a little bit up yeah it's like a I don't know for a hat maybe it's good I don't know <laughs> yeah but you know depends how you you like you you're gonna do it the way you like yeah so I'm I'm gonna leave it the, the slip stitch there so I'm gonna chain one and now you're gonna close these things so in the first again you're gonna do a slip stitch if you choose to do a slip stitch yeah into the first so you do a slip stitch and maybe this way is not gonna point out yeah so again you're gonna pick up the first two loops here there and the ones in the top and you're gonna do a single crochet you move to the next and so on you pick up the one from the bottom and the top and so on it's very very easy but it's thick it's nice especially for cold winters either you can make even a I don't know a sweater boy you're gonna boil in this thing so the last two V's are here so we're gonna pick up the, those make sure that you have to and the ones on top you're gonna pull up a loop do a single crochet so again if you want to do a slip stitch you're gonna go into the last stitch and you're gonna do a slip stitch then you're gonna chain one turn your work and in this here you're gonna do a slip stitch if you like and maybe that way the the corners are not gonna go too up so now you are you're over the hook and you're gonna go behind this and you're gonna do a front post double crochet and so on it's a very easy stitch and look at this this is this is thick kind of double double layer so yeah give it a try you might uh, you might like it yeah okay well thank you for watching have a good day